E9108B. Oh, I just put a hex on you. But don't worry, it's just Life's Potluck Buffet Magenta. I'm John Paulus. Thanks for joining me. Today's episode of Life's Potluck Buffet is all about color. And specifically, it's about hex codes and web color. Because that's what hex codes are all about. And that's why I started this episode with the hex for uh, magenta, the magenta that's used in Life's Potluck Buffet and on the on the web. So uh, there are three kind of main colors of the suits of the Life's Potluck Buffet cards, and they're magenta, a yellow, and a blue. And the magenta has a hex code, and I will give this to you so that in case you so you can write it down. And I'm going to spell it for you in the NATO phonetic alphabet. It is Echo Niner 108 Bravo. Oh, notice I use Niner. I forgot. I haven't talked about any of the numbers that are used, but Niner is one that is used to, I think it's to d- differentiate nine from one because if, if a transmission is garbled, one nine, yeah, I could see how those get mixed up. So Niner is important to make sure that in a garbled transmission, you don't think that it's, say, one, for example, or something else. So that's that. Oh, tree is three. That's another one. That's a good one. Oh, and five is usually fife. Although I've I've heard people just say five, but fife is the technical, you know, international code for five. So E9108B is the magenta of Life's Pollock Buffet on the World Wide Web, the, the interwebs. And I want to break that down for you. Because you've maybe you've seen these before, and you could look at the title card. It gives you a, a set of hex codes for the various colors that are displayed on the screen when you look at the title card. And you can figure out the red, green, and blue values of these as well just from looking at them and doing a little bit of math. And that's what we're going to do, a little bit of math, on today's episode of Life Spotlight Luck Buffet. We don't usually do a lot of math on Life Spot Luck Buffet, but... I think in honor of these hex codes, we're going to have to take a deep dive into some, well, very simple math. All right, where do I begin? Oh, I I should mention that when when we say um, I put a hex on you, meaning a spell, that old song, I kind of did a version of it, the hex part is um, from Pennsylvania German. And that's where that uh, word comes from in the English language and in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, that's the technical name of Pennsylvania for those of you wondering, the, um, there are m- many speakers of German. In PA, they're called Pennsylvania Dutch. And, you know, the Dutch and Dates and all that, are those are words for German in, well, German. So... Though the Pennsylvania Dutch um, borrowed or used the word uh, hexa in uh, in German at some point, uh, at least according to the etymology of our word hex, to mean um, a spell. Those of you who are German speakers from Germany will say, "Well, a hexa is a, a witch," and indeed, in modern German, that's what hexa is. Uh, but in Pennsylvania German, the word hexa, the witch word, was made into a verb, hexen, to kind of um, curse. And that then became a backformed noun, hexa, which had to do with the very spells that we're talking about. Well, that's a little bit about hexes. So now back to colors. The RGB color model is the red, green, blue color model that is used for, I'll say, digital and you know computing colors. Each one of those colors it can be assigned a value from 0 to 255, so the 256 
possible values for each of those colors, red, green, and blue. And the reason for that is because in the color lookup table, in it, which is the you know the with the memory of a say computer um, used uh, and uses to look up colors, <laughs> there are eight bits of memory cubed. Uh, and that's eight bits cubed is 256. So you see that's that's the that's the deal about that. But we won't go into too much detail about all of that. But that, that's the reason this number 255, because zero is the first number, you know, and then 255 is the last number. So that's 256 numbers. That's going to be important because we're going to need to divide do some division to figure out how to convert a red, green, blue, RGB color into a hex color and vice versa. So why don't we, well, let's do this magenta. Let's do the, let's do the magenta in, we want to do it in, let's, let's convert it from the RGB color to the hex color. So the, our answer needs to be E9108B. That's the color hex for the magenta from Life's Potluck Buffet. Now, the RGB of the color is 233 is the red value, 16 is the green value, and the blue value is 139. One, tree niner. So that means that the way that you get the way that you could generate the hex color is by dividing by 16 because we have in this here's how the format of the hex color works. There are two values each for red, green and blue. So that's the that's why there are si there are six and that's the hex part, the Greek for the number six. The hexadecimal is the long form of it, meaning that there are six number places there. So that you can see in E9108B, there are six places. Some of these things, though, aren't numbers. And you say, well, why aren't they all numbers? What's the deal with the E and the B? Those aren't numbers. Well, they are numbers, and I'll tell you why. Because the a one and an, a, the one digit can only go from zero to nine. You can't have a ten or eleven or twelve or thirteen or fourteen or fifteen. But you need sixteen numbers because, as I said. We need to. We're going to need to divide by sixteen in order to generate this code, and in order to have sixteen numbers, you need some letters that are going to stand in for the the numbers, and those are the letters A through F. So you see, F is fifteen. Zero is the sixteenth. So we don't worry about. That's why it's not sixteen. So A through F are the 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 numbers that represent. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, A being 10. So to convert the RGB into a hex code so that we can understand how to do that, we divide the numbers by 16. So the RGB numbers by 16. So we'll start with the red. And the red are the first two digits of the hex code. The green are the second two digits, and the blue are the third two digits. So E9 is for red, 10 is for green, and 8B is for the blue, RGB. So the red is 233, and we divide that by 16, and we're going to get, what, 14? I'm going to have to do this on the pad here. You bear with. 
Where's the main thing for yeah, doing math live is really okay. So that's fourteen. So that that fourteen. So sixteen goes into to two hundred and thirty three. Fourteen times with a remainder of let's see nine. Oh, you see, you see where this is going. So we have e nine is the red value. So e is four, the number 14. Remember, A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, F is 15. So, okay, so we got 14, 9 is what we need there. This is actually, I discovered in my life, the only uh, use of remainders that we, you know, when you learn to do math really early on, when you learn to divide, you're always doing remainder 9, like 14 remainder 9. But then quickly, you learn to just continue on using decimals and, and or fractions and so forth. And that is, um, you, then ha the, for the rest of your life, how you think of dividing. At least I do. I don't usually say remainder 9. But in this case, we actually need to use remainder 9. So if there's anything that that early way of dividing that we learn as children is um, helpful for, it is for coming up with hex codes, which I think is great. So, so we got E9, all right, and then the second number in our magenta code is uh, one zero. So that's the, that's the, oh, I'm sorry, the third and fourth numbers, which is the second set of two numbers, is the um, one and zero. So that is, um, Okay, so let's look at the what the RGB is for that, so we can do do it th that direction. Just a little bit. Well, it's gonna be a little bit easier for us. So okay, so the RGB for this magenta, the, the green value is sixteen on that color lookup table, and so that means that we need to divide sixteen by um, sixteen, and we get one. Now we have to do the remainder still, and because we need uh, two. Yeah, it's a binary thing, right? So we're gonna need two. We're gonna need two two numbers here. So the remainder is zero. So it's one zero. All right, that's why it's one zero. You know, because it's the, the, the that's that's how we generate that zero. So the, so we have e nine one zero, and then we got eight b. Okay, is the final part of our magenta color, and it happens that the color lookup table blue value is one three oh excuse me one tree niner one thirty nine so let's divide one thirty nine by sixteen and we get eight and sixteen by eight one twenty one twenty eight um I should know what the remainder is because B is eleven and it is it's eleven so we get eight remainder eleven. Remember, A is ten, B is eleven, so we got eight B. So there we have it: E nine one zero eight B, and we have the color hex for magenta. All right. Now, in honor of hex codes, uh, we're going to put a spell on the cards, and I'm going to use hex codes to do our normal ritual chant, and we'll see what the cards have for us today. All right. Here we go: F six E nine one F. E nine one zero eight B two eight three eight nine five cards tell us something. All right, here is our card for the day. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It's, okay, it's okay. It's passions are for hobbies. All right, cards. I really thought we were done with this. All right. Have a great day. <laughs> I can't believe it's been. I'm, I really got to take this card out of the deck. I get, we get it, cards. We get it. Okay. I'll tell you what. Maybe the cards want us all to listen to the episode of Life's Potluck Buffet for Card 28, Passions Are for Hobbies. I'll put that in the description. Take a look at it. I will also make it the uh, end video of this video so you can just continue to watch. And thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time on Life's Potluck Buffet. Oh, I, rem I have removed the hex.
because we did that math, we've removed the hex. So worry not. You're going to have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.